Hello. Let's talk about someone who is all providing the infrastructure to our beautiful nation, to the entire globe, civil engineers. Well, I was going through a regular read and I happened to come across something very special. Let's get going with civil engineers and challenges of civil engineers in India. As you know, there are two skills involved. One is hard skill and the other one is soft skill, which is essential part of all the engineering degree or any degree for that matter. So let's talk about civil engineering when it comes to hard skills. It varies from industry to industry. The transportation industry has its own requirements when compared to structural designs firms or firms like LNT who mostly execute the work rather than designing it. Still, for a BTEC pass student seeking the job of site engineer, the knowledge of AutoCAD, ability to read and judge plans of structure and sound knowledge of scheduling, concrete, construction equipment, etc. is must. He should also have an intuition of design as he should be able to tell just by seeing the plans whether there is any mistake or not. For example, the scaffolding for a cantilever slab is removed in such a way that the cantilever mechanism is maintained. Also, if there is a cantilever slab or beam, he should be able to judge and tell that tensile reinforcement will be on the upper side even if there is some flaw in the design sheet and plans given. That's all about hard skills, soft skills. Mandatory for every graduate, that also is not an exception to non-civil or civil engineers. Mostly related to ethics, networking and conduct. Better your network with industry people is, the more easily you will land up in a company due to employee reference. It also helps in understanding the challenges and role of different posts offered and helps a lot in interviews. In some way, they are more superior than your hard skills because it helps you to get highlighted amongst your peers. So, work both on hard as well as soft skills. What is futuristic is you can go for industrial training both on-site and in design offices. Try to get as much exposure of how things are being implemented on-site and the challenges faced during designing. In design offices, various companies use local tools for designing, which are not based on coding. So it might suit you as well. Now, the seven reasons why I think civil engineering degree is good in future. Those who work in civil engineering deal with the infrastructure that we live in, from the roads we walk on to how waste is disposed of. If you would like to make your mark on the world, but are unsure which educational route to follow, we have seven reasons why civil engineering may be the one good thing that you have done. Number one, work in an exciting environment. Civil engineers play a key role in the whole process, from designing a project to bringing it to life and maintaining it. Study this subject at university and you will be part of its quick moving and challenging nature, for sure. Number two, gain a lot of practical experience. Now, most civil engineering courses nowadays include at least the option for an industry placement during the degree. Many students even get paid for the work they do. Number three, choose from many postgraduate options. In case if you're planning for a PG, interested in further study, a lot of undergraduate courses offer a master's years and a postgraduate options are in abundance. Courses include maritime civil engineering, environmental engineering, and water management, just to give you a speciality. Number four, enter into an effective graduate scheme. There are plenty of structured programs on offer to recent graduates of civil engineering. These provide invaluable experience, transform graduates into highly employable individuals, and potentially even offer permanent roles. Number fifth, gain a good graduate starting salary. Having a degree in civil engineering will definitely help students on their way to becoming well-paid professionals in the sector. Sixth, 
have a wealth of job options. If you think that a degree in civil engineering leads you down a narrow path, you can think again. There are plenty of different roles to pursue such as nuclear engineering, quantity surveying or even roles combining consulting or law. Number 7th, learn valuable transferable skills. If after studying the subject you find that a career directly related to civil engineering is not suitable for you, fear not because through the university process students learn skills that can be employed to numerous other professions. These include problem solving, decision making, analytical and IT. What's more, students knowledge of science, maths and technology is strongly refined. And mind you, there are paying jobs, engineering project managers, senior civil engineers, engineering managers, civil engineer, architect, engineering inspectors and regulatory officers, civil engineering drafter, civil engineering technologies. On-site jobs are always a challenging part in civil engineering. It is always the hardest at the beginning. If you are able to manage a couple of months as a site engineer, you can manage to work anywhere and manage peak level stress. Then you can choose your stream with maturity in design or site, quantity surveyor, estimation, billing or quality control. Now, transportation engineers work with local and regional planning boards to identify areas of growth and development. They also look for opportunities to alleviate traffic snarls. Once they understand the needs of drivers in a region, they design plans and develop cost estimates for construction projects. Structural engineers work with architects and builders to assure that steel and other material used in construction projects exceeds the needs of a given project. With advances in technology and an abundance of creative new building materials, today's structural engineers work on a wider variety of projects than ever before. Geotechnical engineers help builders excavate underground projects and work with experts who manage challenging land renewal projects. When cities want to expand their underground mass transit systems, they call in geotechnical engineers to oversee the tunneling. As more developers erect skyscrapers and other large buildings in urban centers, geotechnical engineers assure that the bedrock can safely sustain the pressure of new structures and the people they will support. Hydraulic Hydrology Water Resource Engineers Redirect water to benefit residents and businesses in a community. They construct canals to speed up shipping while preserving the natural flow of wild fish through a region and build dams that generate vital electricity while opening up potential new parcels of land for development. Some hydraulic engineers design pipelines that safely transfer fresh water to remote areas allowing new communities to thrive. Wastewater engineers help improve both our environment and our economy by helping communities and businesses dispose of waste without polluting natural water resources. Until very recently, factories and refineries dumped their industrial waste into rivers and streams. Some still do, though it's now illegal. Today, wastewater engineers develop sewage treatment plants that can remove waste products from water, returning pure water to streams and reservoirs. Environmental engineers are in astonishingly high demand as developed countries finally address the climate change crisis. Environmental engineers work closely with business leaders and government officials to institute new air pollution standards that reduce harmful emissions from factories without negatively impacting industrial output. Environmental engineers also examine the quality of our soil ensuring that harmful toxins do not seep up through the ground and contaminate crops, animals, businesses and homes. Compliance officers work in both corporate and government settings to ensure that local and federal laws are observed in the construction, maintenance and operation of all kinds of facilities. Compliance officers working in the private sector help their employers prepare for upcoming inspections by anticipating and eliminating sources of pollution or substandard construction. 
in-house compliance officers simulate visits through officials in official inspectors saving their companies significant amounts of money through their proactive approach construction managers use their engineering and leadership skills to ensure that building projects are completed on time and under budget construction managers must coordinate the efforts of teams of engineers and laborers to meet tight production schedules they are often the most visible hub of connection between architects developers and construction specialists government and urban planning engineers often use a combination of skills and specialities to coordinate public works and private construction in their communities Traditionally, government planning engineers forged relationships with state agencies that would provide funding or construction of major projects. Local planning engineers would help residents understand the potential environmental impact of new highways or infrastructure projects. More recently, local governments across the country have strengthened their internal planning systems and hired more engineers by creating comprehensive land development plans as part of their long range strategies cities and towns can position themselves to benefit from explosive growth without succumbing to overwhelming demands on the water systems or roads when residents manage engineering issues internally they retain more control over the shape and the scope of development in the countries civil engineering certification license and association anyone who provides engineering services to the public must be licensed Certification as a professional engineer requires a degree from an accredited engineering program, 4 years of relevant work experience, successful completion of state examination in the fundamentals, principles and practice of engineering. The National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying also administers exams twice each year in all 50 states to assist states with evaluating and selecting licensed professional engineers. while it is not always necessary to attain the professional engineering license to practice engineering this license is required to practice certain government work or to review and approve designs and some firms require the license for someone to progress to an engineering management position now civil engineering related to accredited certification american society of civil engineers american academy of water resource engineers American Academy of Environmental Engineers Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering I hope with all these I am very sure you are going to get benefited of this particular knowledge I would rate civil engineering 9 out of 10 in hardness in toughness as a course and mechanical engineering of course 10 by 10 in the same sense now awareness is the only thing that will lead you to a better tomorrow so best wishes and thank you